The Holocaust and Genocide Research Partnership, or HGRP for short, is a new initiative that brings together two leading universities and two Holocaust-related charities with the aim to reach wider audiences throughout the UK with new and cutting-edge research on the Holocaust and other genocides. Um, It brings together the Holocaust Research Institute at Royal Holloway University of London, the Wiener Holocaust Library based in London, the Holocaust Survivors Friendship Association based in Leeds, and the University of Huddersfield. The university has developing research interests in the history and cultures of the Holocaust, and in particular in the experiences of children in and after war. Building on this, we have recently launched a master's degree in Holocaust and Genocide Studies, and will be developing this area over the coming years. We already have a close relationship with the Holocaust Education and Learning Centre, and we see this partnership as an excellent opportunity to build our research and public engagement links over the coming years. We're really excited to be partnering with the Wiener Library and the Holocaust Research Institute at Royal Holloway to develop projects that will enrich the work we all do and enhance knowledge and understanding of the Holocaust. The Library's been at the forefront of research about the Holocaust for over 80 years. Our founder, Alfred Wiener, was one of the first people in the world to document Nazi crimes, and he became known as a leading expert. Wiener fled Germany in 1933, setting up an organisation called the Jewish Central Information Office in Amsterdam. Building on this work, our collections have grown, quickly becoming the largest in Britain and one of the most important in the world. Together, we'll be bringing forward the best of innovative research, documentation and public engagement on the subject of the Holocaust and other genocides. I'm excited about the discoveries and insights that will emerge from our cooperation, and I look forward to sharing these with you in the years to come. We have an exhibition at Learning Centre, which are both based on the campus of the University of Huddersfield, right at the heart of a very vibrant, diverse and multidisciplinary community of researchers and students. We exist because a remarkable group of individuals, all based in West Yorkshire, self-organised in the mid-90s into the uh, the HSFA, the Oracle Survivors Friendship Association. For them, uh, the HSFA represented a safe space uh, where the leaders community of Jewish Holocaust survivors could come together to share their experiences of the Nazi regime. The Holocaust and Genocide Research Fund partnership for us is an incredible opportunity to attract research based exhibitions, talks, um, events and conferences that would otherwise not be based in the North and to have the opportunity to do so in, uh, in others' field. Equally, it offers a great stage for Northern stories of the Holocaust to be studied on a national and international level. So for us, it is very exciting to think that this region can become a platform from which to observe the global and transgenerational narratives on the Holocaust and its legacies. The Holocaust Research Institute is unique in the United Kingdom. Uh, We have uh, uh, colleagues from across various disciplines We teach a genuinely interdisciplinary master's in Holocaust studies, rooted in history, but also with film, literature, refugee studies, and with colleagues also in law and music. Uh, And we have a thriving research culture with lots of PhD students. It's a great pleasure for the Holocaust Research Institute to be entering into this Holocaust and genocide research partnership with the Wiener Holocaust Library, University of Huddersfield, and the Holocaust Survivors Friendship Association. It's a great opportunity Uh, for us to uh, make sure that our research uh, reaches communities and people that it otherwise uh, wouldn't uh, and to engage in public activities such as exhibitions uh, that are really exciting and, and bring our research to a whole new audience. Our first partnered activities culminate in a co-curated exhibition, which will be hosted both at the Wiener Holocaust Library in London and the Holocaust Exhibition and Learning Centre at the University of Huddersfield, which is run by the Holocaust Survivors Friendship Association. This exhibition will look at the under-researched aspect of the end of the Holocaust, um, known as the Death Marches, um, specifically about the post-war investigations into the Death Marches. 
This exhibition is based primarily on the new research conducted by Professor Dan Stone um, in his forthcoming book, um, and it will bring uh, wider audiences to uh, this research. But it also lays bare the process of research and the process of investigation and the ways in which evidence has been gathered since the end of the Holocaust. And it helps to tell us, you know, how do we know what we know about the death marches and how do historians and other scholars work? So we're looking forward to welcoming people to these exhibitions when we can open them as pandemic conditions permit. Um, but we will be hosting uh, an array of online events and uh, gallery walk through films and other ways to engage uh, audiences who can't physically get to the exhibitions yet. <laughs>